FFBO squad, it's me, Jacquez, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Okay, so today we are having some crawfish and some corn on the cob and some sausages with a little bit of butter sauce over here on the side. So we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna say our prayers. We're gonna get into this food. And on the side, we have Junior and Susie with a little bit of pink lemonade. Cheers to the FBS squad. Cheers to the new subscribers. Welcome to the FBS squad. We love to have you here. Cheers, y'all. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so today we are having a crawfish boil, you guys. Listen, don't get on me about my crawfish. Don't get on me about my crawfish, okay? Listen. We all adults. I check my analytics so I know that for a fact. We all done some things that, that might be a little nasty. You know, so don't judge me. I need my fix here and there. All right, we're going to get into this. Whew. Okay, I want to start with some. I'm going to just go ahead and dig in. I don't know why I'm still feeling so out of breath. Like I've just been partying like crazy. I was really just not feeling well yesterday, y'all. At all. Not feeling well at all. So I just laid up in the bed, sweated it out until I felt a little bit better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, listen, eating crawfish is just a mind over matter type of thing, you know? I know it don't look the most appeasing, but it's good. And once you get past all of the, <laughs> I'm probably ain't making this no better. <laughs> but I have to, I have to explain this to y'all because I think there's the experience that you guys might want to try. Hmm? It's an experience that you guys might want to try. Because I know I wasn't too fond of... Uh, <clears throat> I wasn't too fond of crawfish. I don't know why I just did that. Shouldn't hit being fat. But... I wasn't always a fan of crawfish either. Just off the fact of how it looked. You know? But seeing as though I am a foodie... It took everything in me to just like, man, listen, I got to try this. I have to try it just to see what it's about. And I tried it and I've been eating it ever since. But I won't go in here too many times, y'all, just, you know, eating the crawfish. Because I know some of y'all don't too much care for it like that, but just let me have my, let me have my fix here and there. Let me just have my fix here and there, y'all. That's all I ask. Mm-hmm. To me, they just look like little mini shrimp. I know people call them sea roaches. You know, people call anything, anything that they, that they don't like something real disgusting. Just to not like it even more. But I ain't gonna do that. Life too short, you know? These are four pepper jack sausages. I know people usually like use andouille sausages in their um, crawfish boils, but y'all, I've come across this sausage. It is so good. There is no going back. No going back. So, anyways, happy Saturday, you guys. Did y'all miss me yesterday? I missed y'all. I really did. I miss you guys. And I'll be feeling a little off. 
when I'm not on here recording. We're going to go ahead and get into this corn, y'all. But I be feeling a little off when I'm not <clears throat> here with you guys. But some days, you know, mm. Y'all already know how, what I say after I eat corn, I don't need to come up for air. <laughs> I don't need to come up for air. I got this, all of this, boo. Mm. And I sat up and watched a tutorial on how to properly boil these. Because I felt like I was doing them wrong. <clears throat> and I was. <laughs> Ooh. As you can tell, I'm not complaining about the boo-boo. Because I watched the tutorial on YouTube. You know, YouTube got everything. Everything that you could possibly need. And I mean, he's got a little spice, a little kick to him. Just how I like it. That tutorial was, was definitely very useful. Very useful. It's all about how you cook it too as well. How you make this crawfish, is, it makes all the difference. Mmm. All the difference in the world. A little bit of this lemon rain all over it. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Now, these are the Chipotle boy eggs, y'all. No, I do not put the sauce on these. I bought them as is. They're really good. Really good. <clears throat> Chipotle kick to it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, like I said, yesterday I wasn't feeling all that well, y'all. I was going, and then I, all over the place. I was just like, oh my God, what is happening? What is happening? I don't know if it's because of the weather, y'all. Because the weather is so flaky in Chicago. But we're not having a normal, um, we're not having a normal winter this year. Because today it'll be 54, I believe. 54 degrees. And we are definitely at the end of December. <laughs> Usually, Chicago will be covered in snow. Chicago will be covered in snow. You up there, you on, if you're flying over Chicago on the plane, you look down here, you think it was Antarctica or something like that. That's how bad winter gets here in Chicago. But, that seems to not be the case this year. And I'm grateful. Please believe me. I'm not complaining. In no way, shape, or form am I complaining. Because... 
personally, I hate the snow. I don't like the snow. It causes too many problems. People don't know how to drive in the snow. It's just too much. Too much. And I ain't getting into nobody's car accident. Nobody's. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Actually, this is bomb. Bomb. That's that. But I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better. Like I said, I just had to sweat it out. As much as y'all know, I hate the heat. I don't know. Listen, I just said I hate the snow and then I turn around and say I hate the heat. I just have to, I feel like I need to be somewhere where it's very much so in the middle. <laughs> I just don't know where to go. Because people down south complaining that it's cold. We up here talking about it's freezing. And I ask people who live down south, whoa, what's freezing to y'all? What's cold to you guys down south? And they talking about some 54. So I said, 50, baby. If we had that kind of weather up here in the wintertime, we wouldn't be up here in coats. Bundled up like we got we we got thing on. Um, what do they call them people? What are they calling people that be all bundled up in Antarctica? Oh my god. What's the name of it? Of them. Oh my god, that's bad. That's all bad. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. Y'all know it's gonna hit me later. But forget it right now. Ooh. Why don't I tell you these crawfish is hitting today? They are hitting. Hitting. I'm not mad at all. <clears throat> Somebody asks, what does crawfish taste like? Crawfish tastes like, hmm, how can I put it? Crawfish to me tastes, mm. I mean, it tastes like a little bit of a, a blander version of like a shrimp. It definitely, it definitely has the texture, the same texture as a shrimp, but it just has a little bit more of a bland taste than um, shrimp does. Shrimp has a little taste to it, a little bit, but these don't really, unless you really like boil them in something that really puts something, you know, put a, you know, a certain kind of taste on them or something like that. They really don't have a taste to them. And I don't believe in sucking on those. Mm -mm. I'm still, I'm still a rookie. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still learning. <clears throat> Just let me get through the basics real quick. Then we can get advanced. Mm. So yeah. So I was sitting up watching <clears throat> a lot of old school 90s movies yesterday, like Don't Be a Menace and 
Friday and Friday after next and all that. Next Friday, <laughs> boy, I was binging on 90s movies. I was having a good old time. All while trying not to regurgitate nothing that I didn't eat because I surely didn't eat anything. So I didn't understand what was trying to come up or why it was happening in the first place. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's a juicy one. Oh, that boy juice there. Oh, I can't wait to get to you. Ooh. Oh, my God. Juicy, juicy. Mm -mm. juicy. No, nah, nah, listen, you finna try this. You about to try this. You're not going to keep on saying that's nasty. You're not going to keep on doing that. Without tasting it, taste it first. And then make your decision on what it, whether it's nasty or not. Here, taste it. Taste you some. Okay? See, what I said, it's good. <clears throat> it's good, and they got the little spice to it. You hardly even notice it. All you think is, all you think you got in your mouth is some shrimp. That's it. That's all. Some shrimp. Some shrimp. Some shrimp. Mm mm. So I was watching, I also watched Wayne Six Hill. <laughs> I love that movie. I love that movie. Well, you're the, the improper influence. <laughs> Angela. Oh, my goodness. Sound a lot like me. Well, some years ago. <laughs> Maybe I was going through. Going through it. You know? Love will make you do some crazy things. <clears throat> Want it, y'all? You already know. I think that's the big part of the reason why I'm not in a rush to get back into it now because, baby, I'm not having it. You won't be playing in my face, yeah. You won't be playing in mine. I'm getting too old for all that. I may not look it, but I sure feel it. And I ain't got time to waste. Oh, no, no. Listen, if y'all can read my lips, y'all understand what I'm saying when I'm bleeping myself out. Because I don't got time to be sitting up here bleeping everything that I want to say out. So I'll just, I'll just mouth the word. <laughs> so y'all can really get a full understanding of what I'm saying. <clears throat> I read somewhere where they did this test on... Uh, oh, excuse me. On people who swear a lot. You know, because I do. I do. I ain't even going to lie. I cuss like crazy. I cuss for no reason sometimes. Just because. <laughs> Just because. I don't know. It's because I was so restricted as a kid. That when I actually got the opportunity to do so, I just couldn't help myself. I don't know what it is, y'all. Or what it was. But I do it. And I don't have to apologize for it. But anyway, I read some over. They did this this um research on people who do you know curse a lot, saying that they are some of the most upfront people. Now, I don't know how necessarily true that is because I know a lot of people that just be cursing and they they boo boo, their whole life they just boo boo. <clears throat> Ain't nothing real about them.
Wow, wow, and wow. Wow, wow, and wow. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Saying that people who do most cursing are like some of the most realest upfront people. I don't know. I think people are bored. When they sit and do these little tests on people, you know, I'm the one. Of, I'm, I'm one of the kind of people that I don't believe. I don't just go off of what people say. You know, I have to see it for myself. I have to be able to touch it, go through it, sort through the stuff, and I need to be able to be able to, you know, figure it out myself. I can't just go off of what somebody say. Yeah, I'm one of them kind of people. A hard head make a soft. Yeah, you know the rest. I'm one of them kind of people. But I think yeah, at the end of the day, it's just teaching me more. You know, I'm learning more. I'm not all that like, great at being codependent. You know, <clears throat> I'm not all that like, great, so I can't always go off of what people see. All the time. I got to go find out on my own. I don't know if that's a tourist thing. I know we stubborn like crazy. I know for a fact. That's why when people come and tell me, y'all tourists is just something else. I don't even argue. <laughs> I don't even need to argue because I know that we are. And we honest too. And that's why I can admit that. All my tourists, stand up. <laughs> All my tourists, stand up, baby. Because at the end of the day, <clears throat> we are a great sign. You know, we love hard. We always keeping it 100 with people. Always. Always. So you don't never have to worry about us trying to front our shot. Because we don't know how to do nothing else but be ourselves. And give y'all a hard time. <laughs> but it's all out of love, y'all. We don't mean no harm by it. Mm -hmm. We don't mean no harm. <clears throat> Mmm, the juices that came out of that claw was good. Mm. Maybe that's what people get when they suck the head out of these things, but I just, I can't, I gotta work myself up to that. I have to work myself up to that. <laughs> that's a lot, y'all. That is doing a lot. Oof, I'm not prepared. <sighs> oh, I'm not prepared to suck that head. It's just so much going on. It's so much going on. Can y'all see it now? It's so much going on, y'all. I just, I, ugh, I can't. Not right now. Catch me when I'm drunk. 
The possibilities are, are endless when I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, I should have said that. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, I told y'all already. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. Only. Oh, come up out of there. <clears throat> Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I love those sausages. They're called the four pepper jack sausages. You can find those at Walmart. Or at your local grocery store. And you know, they everywhere. They international or whatever. Y'all watching like I'm a little bit less than on 10 like I'm usually am, like I usually am. It's because I'm trying my best not to do too much with my stomach. Because this is my first meal of the day. I really didn't eat too much yesterday. I snacked on some things here and there just to put something on my stomach. But I'm trying not to maneuver around too much, you know, because I don't want nothing to come up on this camera and y'all be looking at me like, boy. If you was that sick, then you needed to take a couple of more days to yourself. I'm good, y'all. I'm good. I'm good, and I'm back. I'm good, and I'm back. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yes, yes, that is so good. <clears throat> so freaking good. Y'all know I don't mind getting on him making no ugly face. I don't care. I don't care. Uh -uh. <clears throat> Look at that sucker. He huge. He ready. That's him. Yeah. Ready. I'm ready too, daddy. I'm ready too, daddy. I wonder if all this time I've been putting my hands up and it's been a shadow on my face. <sighs> Y'all, I got to figure my light, my light situations out. Because I hate to go back and edit and I'm sitting here and I'm just like doing the absolute most. Y'all know I want to give y'all A1, uh, I want to give y'all A1 content, grade A content at all times, at all times. I don't want to come on here lackluster, slacking and lacking, because guess what? Y'all ain't going to read me, not me, not me, so I need to be on top of my game at all times. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Mm. But we're gonna eat this last piece of corn. Bam! And we're gonna get up out this joint. 
Because I think I just about went through uh, all these crawfish. You already know. <clears throat> All right, you guys, I'm going to get up out of here. This was amazing. I thank y'all for sticking it out with me because I know that y'all probably don't too much care for crawfish like that. But sometimes, like I said, y'all, I be needing my fix. It won't happen too often. But when I need my fix, you know you're going to see it. Okay? Okay. But in the meantime, y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because... I got some in my teeth. Mm -mm. Oh, God. Sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. Praise.